Assalamu alaikum. This is teacher Fatima Salim from Ridwan Schools. This is the second online class for the 10th grade in science. Today's lesson is acids and bases. When we talk about acids and bases, we talk about very familiar substances that we have every day at our houses. For example, in a hot summer day, everyone would love a glass of lemonade, which is an acid. Today's objective is to learn about properties of acids and the way we use those acids in our life. And we will delay bases until next week. The vocabulary that we will talk about will be acid and indicator. Acid and indicator. An acid in chemistry is a substance that dissolves in water, releasing H plus ions, hydrogen ions, that automatically join with water to give me hydronium ions, H3O plus. So, when we put an acid in water, it will add more hydronium ions in water, as you can see in this equation. Any acid gives us H plus ions, which will join with H2O, water of course, to give me the H3O plus, which is the hydronium ions. Again, this happens in all acids. The properties of acids are the following. Number one, sour flavor. By sour, we mean tart. They all have a sour taste, such as berries, lemon, vinegar. But of course, you cannot just go around and taste unknown substances to check if they are acids or bases, because some of them may be dangerous. They may be corrosive or poisonous. Corrosive mean can damage your skin. Poisonous, of course, means toxic. I'm sure you are familiar with this word. Go ahead, think about acids that you know, acids that you can taste. They all, sound, they all taste sour or tart. The second property is that acids can change color in indicators. So, what is an indicator? This word means a substance that changes color if you put it in an acid or a base. And if litmus paper comes to your mind, you get what I'm, think what I'm talking about. Litmus paper is the paper that comes in two colors, red and blue. Actually, the one that you can see in the right bottom corner of this slide. Litmus paper is a paper that easily changes color if you put it in an acid or a base. If you put a blue litmus paper in an acid, what color does it turn to? Excellent, red, just like you can see in the picture. What if you put a red litmus paper in an acid? What happens then? Good job, it stays red because red is the color of litmus paper in an acid. Another indicator which is less familiar to you is bromthymol blue. Bromthymol blue is an indicator of which you have the picture in your textbook. Bromthymol blue, of course, as you can tell from its name, is a blue substance. And when you mix it with water, it will give me a pale blue color, just like you can see in page 63, figure 2. Anyway, if you put a bromthymol blue in an acid, it will turn yellow, just like you can see in this picture. So, two indicators you should know about are litmus paper and bromthymol blue. The blue litmus paper will turn red in an acid. The blue bromthymol blue will turn yellow in an acid. The third property of acid is that most acids react with most metals. 
a metal react with acids and gives off a gas. Which gas? Let's check this equation. When you mix hydrochloric acid, the acid that we have in our stomachs, with Zn, which is zinc, when you mix this acid with this metal, a single, a single displacement reaction will happen. Therefore, Zn, a metal, is going to displace hydrogen, take its place, and join with chlorine. So we will have ZnCl2 as a result, and the H will be on its own. As a diatomic molecule, it's going to stand on its own as hydrogen gas. So hydrogen gas comes out of this reaction, just like you can see in those bubbles in the test tube in this picture. And this is also shown in your book in figure 3, actually in page 63. So all acids react with metals and the gas that comes out is hydrogen gas because all acids have hydrogen in them. The fourth property of acid is that acids conduct or carry electric current. By electric current, I mean electricity. So acids carry electricity. Why is that? Good, because acids increase the concentration of H3O plus hydronium ion, which is an ion. And when we have ions in a solution, these ions mean that we have electrons that can move freely in the solution. So electricity can move freely. Electricity needs ions in the solution to move through. So any substance which has ions can conduct or carry electricity. The most solid example that you can show here is a car battery. A car battery is actually a liquid kind of battery because it has a liquid in it. In this box that you can see, we have liquid solution of sulfuric acid. Sulfuric acid is very important acid in the world. Its formula is H2SO4. Putting this solution in a car battery will allow all the ions and electrons to move in the car battery and carry electricity produced by the car motor so the car can actually drive. Now, The uses of acids are something you can get directly from your book in page 64. Acids conduct electric current, of course, this is the beginning of page 64. And right under that, you will find a paragraph in which you can find the uses of acids. Now, in the uses of acids, I want you to concentrate on sulfuric acids, and hydrochloric acids and by that I need you to find only two uses of each one I will give you a couple of minutes to do that you can pause the video please until you're done your job now is to read the big paragraph in page 64 find two uses of acids sulfuric acid and hydrochloric acid and write them down or you can highlight them in your book pause the video please okay now the uses of sulfuric acids that you should know for the exam are using sulfuric acids for number one making paper number one making fertilizers what are fertilizers Fertilizers are substances that we put in soil to make it rich, to make plants grow more. So fertilizers, الأسمده, are substances I can put in the soil to make them grow better. You can also replace these, of course, by any two uses of sulfuric acid, such as making paints or detergents, no problem. The uses of hydrochloric acids, as you can see, are many. But I need you to concentrate on the most important ones. Number one, 
Hydrochloric acid is the acid that, that is found in our stomach that helps us digest your food. The second use of hydrochloric acid is that we also put it in swimming pools to kill bacteria and algae. Tahalib. Good. Now your job is done. I hope this lesson was clear. If not, please WhatsApp me on my number. Thank you very much.